Now, this is being used to set a narrative, and I just want to set the stage here really, really quickly, uh, that police are shooting unarmed black men in wreck. It is mm -hmm. not true. So 2019 is the last time we have these full numbers. Nine unarmed black men were shot by police. 19 unarmed white men. Now, I know you're saying, yeah, but they make up a higher percentage of the population. But, actually, 53% uh, of known homicide offenders in the United States right. are black. 60% of robberies are black. So when you consider that violent crime is committed disproportionately, and I hate that this has to come out of my mouth. I hate that I have to say black, white. But the fact is, right now, they're going to be talking about white, black. I was listening yeah. to NPR this morning. I said, Derek Chauvin, who is Derek Chauvin, who is white, shot unarmed, uh, sorry, put his knee on the neck of unarmed George Floyd, who is black. That was yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you have to respond to it. Um, but let well, me touch on the sorry. statistics thing you said. You're absolutely right. It doesn't matter what the percentage of the population is. When you use statistics, you have to use them in a way that is precise and actionable. You don't want the population number. You want the cop interaction number. How many people of all the different races are the police interacting with and right. what are the outcomes? Yeah. That shows a much different picture. Well, that's right. also important, the interactions. Do you know, you probably don't know this, uh, do you know how much more likely a police officer is to be shot uh, or killed by a black male than he is to shoot an unarmed black male? Uh, I do. If you take a guess, how much more likely is it for a police officer to I be do. killed by a black man I than don't to shoot want to. <laughs> It's 18 and a half times. <laughs> wow. A police no, officer kidding. is 18 I don't, I don't, and a half I wouldn't half know times. how to even yeah. gauge the percentage. Well, I guess my what I'm wondering, though, is what is conviction versus arrest rate? Because there could be an argument there inside the system once. Like, yeah, sure, more black people may be convicted, but how many arrests were there compared to the two races? Well, su substantially more. Okay. Right. right? Yeah, so substantially the more. The interactions, it's off the charts. In fact, the, the Black Lives Matter group before this had been making the argument for decades that police were just stopping black people randomly. So it takes the numbers into astronomical figures. There's no way. I'm just like playing Derek. No, no, advocate. Yeah. no. I, I appreciate. So here we have. So I have this number exactly. 53% of known homicide offenders in this country are black. 60% of robberies, but they make up only 25% of those shot by police. Hmm. Okay. So half in so relation to the crimes higher. committed, and police officers are 18 times more like 18 and a half times more likely to be shot or to, sorry to be killed by a black man than shooting an unarmed black man. And by the way, of these nine unarmed black men who were uh, shot in 2019. One of them, one of the unarmed black men, uh, black men tried to run over the officer with his car. Ooh. So, so a car. Technically, well, he's like, I'm that's a deadly armed, weapon. motherfucker! <laughs> I mean, think about that for a second. Like, these things excuse. matter. A car is not yeah. armed, but he's trying to run over a police officer. Right. The point is, if you try and overcorrect and now make sure that police officers cannot do their job and you defund them because of systemic racism, which statistically does not exist in the police force, then we have a problem. Yeah. And that's why the majority of black Americans don't want less of a police presence. They want at least the same amount as they have now or more. Do we need police reform? Sure. We need to make sure that unions aren't as strong in the police as they are, this, this wall of silence. Yeah. We need to make sure that police have their authority constrained to constitutional parameters. I have a problem with police. Who do you think they would have to send out to round up people with the executive orders with uh, firearms? Yeah. Probably police officers. Mm. When I see police officers arresting ladies at soccer games because they're not wearing their double mask, that's a problem. That being said, we need to address the real issue and not the race baiting that is taking place in the mainstream media, and that's what's going on. Today. Yeah, and you can't do that until, until people start to actually look at what the problem is. And I think, Dave, that's what we're trying to do is to set it up and say, look, there is a problem. We need to solve it. But what is the problem? It's not what they're saying it is, that you're just going to get shot randomly by police officers because you're black. So what really is going on? Well, that is, yeah, that is obviously a message that people want to put out. And there's no denying that. But at the same time, how do you solve something that's an individual basis when you're right. painting it as a broad stroke? It doesn't really work. Right. It's all yeah. an individual thing. This particular situation the guy who kneeled on his neck i think personally was an asshole and was responsible for his death he took it too far at the end when he didn't need to right now that's not speaking for the other police that's not talking about cops across this country who are now being accused of it right. or them getting defunded because of a singular situation right that's the problem is we're taking single things done by individuals and putting color stamps on them yeah, and right. that's dangerous watch louder with crowder live Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.